So um, yeah, I'm in this stream next to a field uh, which I have the permission on, and um, my grandpa has already found a <laughs> K98 in this uh, bloody field. And guess what I just found on this stream? It's an MP40 magazine. It's actually an MP40 magazine. This is amazing. This is the first time I've ever found a magazine. And it's a bloody MP40 magazine. <laughs> oh wow, this is amazing. I mean, you can even still see the spring in it. I'll clean it with some um, hydrochloric acid. I hope at least that it won't fall apart. But wow, this is a great find. I uh, don't know if there's any ammo in it because I can't make out what is top or bottom because there's just lumps of rust on well, both ends. So that's a stunning find. That's really amazing. I'll try to clean it up as gently as possible because it's already broken apart and who knows, maybe there's more of them in here. <laughs> that is amazing. Look, it even has some rounds left in it. I mean, they're made of steel, so that's why they're in terrible condition, but well, there's still a round of ammo. Now we'll see what uh, the condition beneath all this rust will be. Probably terrible, but I mean, it's an MP40 Max, so you can't complain. <laughs> These are expensive as hell, even if they're rotten. <laughs> so. Great, great find. Such a nice piece of history. I've always wanted to find something more than just shell casings, and this is exactly what I wanted. Now, I've still got a lot of uh, area to cover in this little stream, so <laughs> let's hope for more. And it was pretty much right on the surface as well. Well, in all this mud right there, so it was hard to spot, but it was right on the surface, so. MP40 Mac, number one. Let's see if there's more. Oh wow, today's the day for World War II relics, I guess. This just popped out of the ground. It's pretty broken, but it's what's left of a German... Well, too bad my phone was just full, so I couldn't film everything, but, well, as you can see, it's a late war German Eskischer, or the top of it anyway. Pretty bad condition, but still got some paint red right here. Wow, <laughs> today's the day for World War II relics, I guess. <laughs> Amazing. Never found any big items from the Germans apart from a spare barrel carrier for an MG42. And now an MP40 magazine and this. <laughs> amazing. Truly amazing. Alright, <laughs> let's carry on, I guess. Well, I think we've got ourselves a Roman coin. No, it's not a Roman coin. I, have. I can already see something else. Old and it's interesting, like some kind of a fibula. Yeah, it has to be. And I think there's a enamel right there. I'll clean it up very carefully because this uh, looks to be probably at least medieval. As you can see, it's a pretty primitive design. And with this square thing, and it's not even round, so this could also be Roman or even older. But it's got iron right there, so it can't be diamond from like Bronze Age or something, because they didn't have iron back then. But um, yeah, that's a really cool find. Finally, something good after one of the World War II finds, of course. But after that, I've just been finding aluminium. But this is a really cool old fibula. That's gotta be at least a thousand years old. Very nice find indeed. So let's do a quick roundup of the two interesting finds uh, of that day. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a bit of a cold. You might be able to hear this. So uh, let's begin with the Eskisher piece. Still got some green paint right there green or grey or whatever. Not too bad for something made of steel. Usually they're far worse, especially since I didn't find this one in the river, so <laughs> it's a pretty cool find. And we've got uh, the MP40 magazine still loaded. <laughs> Just look at that. That's pretty cool. 
the bottom piece is pretty broken, still got some remains of the spring, still works like, actually. So I got, uh, well, quite some, oh boy, <laughs> quite some rust on it. But yeah, that's that. So this broke out. So we can have a look at the bullets. Uh, what do you think these are made of? I can tell you one thing, it's not brass. It's actually uh, lacquered st steel, which is amazing uh, with uh, this condition, because, I mean, look at them. It's brand new. It actually is. <laughs> but they're made of steel, really cheap steel, and there's just some layer of paint on it, and yet, because of all the dirt in there, it was actually protected from rust, so they look, well, yeah, brand new. Let's take a couple more out, since I got these out, when I, as you can see, this is what it would look like without removing the dirt. The rest is a little stuck, so I'll just do it with those three. As you can see, they are made in 1944 by AM. ST and uh, plus means it's made of steel, and there's a lot number, and yeah. <coughs> Sorry again. Yeah, it's a, a very nice condition indeed. Never found uh, steel showcasings in that good condition. I'll actually just uh, compare them to some made of steel if I can find them. Uh, right there, for example. That's what they look like usually. And this one's actually got uh, brass plating on this. This one, well, they don't. Similar to things like. Good. These, okay, obviously these were fired by the STG44, but I bought these online. But yeah, it's very nice to find uh, steel bullets in this nice condition. As I said, usually they're just a ball of rust. So yeah, that was it for this vid video. And uh, yeah, hope to see you next time. Uh, hopefully without a cold. And yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> well actually no, I didn't show the, you the magazine, did I? So yeah, that's this. <laughs> There's some remains of the stamps right here, but this piece is pretty loose. And you can see uh, some remains of the blue ring right here. And uh, yeah, this side is pretty nice actually, apart from all that. <laughs> Still got the original surface on it. You don't find MP40 magazines very often. <laughs> That's uh, something I can tell you. This is the first magazine I've actually found ever. Which is quite nice because of the condition of the bullets inside. So, uh, enough talk. That was it for real now. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.